Today I'll show you the easiest way of using Elementor Pro to create an endless blog page like this, which looks premium, has options here to automatically filter different pages and show all the major details of the blogs like this. I will do everything step by step so even a non-technical person can follow. So this is my site and here are all my blogs. I'll open this one for now. And Okay, for some reason this blog is loading very slowly. So it usually happens because of heavy images and fonts on the website. But don't worry, I have a quick fix for this. My team built this awesome free speed plugin called Airlift. So I'll go to this website, enter my URL and click continue. And in just few minutes, it will analyze all the elements on your site and give you a 90 plus speed score like this. Okay, anyways, let's see if my site is working properly. I'll go back, refresh, and yeah, it loads faster than before. Anyways, let's move on with the tutorial. First, let's enable a few settings on Elementor. I'll go to my WordPress dashboard. On the left sidebar, click on Elementor here, then click on settings. Now click on the features tab and make sure the Flexbox container, Greet container, and loop options are set to active. Once that's done, click on save. Then go to products option and click on all products. Just make sure that all your products are categorized like this and then go to the posts tab here and click on all posts. Now check that all your posts are categorized like this as well. All right, now I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard, hover over pages, add new page, and then on the top, click on edit with Elementor. I will click on the plus icon here, select Flexbox, and then choose a container like this. Now let's go to the left sidebar and type loop in the search box here. I'll quickly drag this loop grid widget into the container here like this. And you should see a small window like this. On the left, click on this drop down and choose posts. Now click on create template, it gives me a pop up, just click save. Now. In this section, we will create our postcards. And to do that, look for the featured image from the left sidebar and drag it here like this. It automatically selects an image, but if you want to change it, just go to the left sidebar, click on choose image button, and from here, you can select your desired image. I will skip it for now and quickly change the image size from here and set it to medium. Okay, let's customize the image. And to do that, just go to the style tab, change the max width like this, now scroll down and add a border like this. I'll change the radius from here. You can also change the height of the image from here like this. This looks good to me. So let's set it and go back by clicking this button on the top. Now to add a post name, go to the widget section and drag this title widget below our image. Mm, this is too big. So I'll change the size by going to this drop down and I'll select H2. Once that's done, go to this link box and set it to post URL. So when anyone clicks the title, they'll be redirected to the post. Okay, let's go back now. And from here, drag the post info widget. This widget will show you the author's name, published date and time, and the number of comments here. You can also remove any of this info from the side panel like this, or add any other information by clicking this add button. And from here, I'll change a few settings. Yeah, this looks good to me. We are almost done now. Let's quickly add the taxonomy filter. I'll click this plus button, add a container. Now go to the left sidebar and search for taxonomy filter. Here it is. Drag it to this container like this. In the sidebar, I'll use this dropdown to select the loop grid like this. Then select on this taxonomy dropdown and choose categories. Here, I can see my block categories on the page. You can use these options to adjust the alignment or switch it to a stack menu, which would work for a sidebar filter. I want to add some spacing on the heading, so I'll go to the style tab, use this slider and adjust the spacing like this. And we are done. Finally, let's add another container above this and give a title to our page. Just drag this tag box widget like this. I'll change the title to this and change the heading like this. Once we are done, just click on update down here and let's see how it looks by clicking this eye icon. Perfect. My blog posts are here and let's see if filters are working properly. Yeah, looks good to me. 
In this 3 minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.